Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're doing some more AP Physics 1 um, free response questions. We're working on rotation, angular momentum, and torque, um, so let's get into it. I think this problem gives you all the information, um, so give it a shot. If you get stuck somewhere, or you know, if you're able to do it, then, then come back and finish watching the video. So I have a block of mass 2m hangs on a cord that passes over a pulley and connected a block of bat. B of mass 3m that is free to move on a frictionless horizontal surface as shown above. The pulley is a disc with the frictionless bearings having a radius r and a moment of inertia 3m r squared. That's the same as rotational inertia. Block C of mass 4m is on top of block B. The surface between blocks B and C is not frictionless. Whew. You're going to be a lot of free body diagrams. Shortly after the system is released from rest, block A moves with a downward acceleration A, and the two blocks on the table move relative to each other. Okay. In terms of M, G, and A, determine the tension TV, the vertical tension. So I want this TV here. Uh, okay. So. Let's set all of this up. There's a lot of free body diagrams here. So let's let's try to put them all together. Let's do free body diagram of A. This one's most straightforward. I have 2mg here going down, and I have TV going up like this. And the net force equation, because it's accelerating downwards, would be 2mg so I'm going to make downward the positive one to make because I always make everything positive if I know it's going in a particular direction. So down is positive, or this direction is positive as it's moving downward. Um, 2 mg minus T v is equal net force is equal m a. It's equal to 2 m times a. Okay, I don't know T v and I don't know a, so there's two unknowns uh, for this one equation. So I can't solve anything yet. Let's do the free body diagram on this thing. So the thing is, is sometimes if they tell you the, the pulley is massless or you know negligible friction or whatever, we don't have to worry about it here. But here, since I've given a rotational inertia, um, I have to do the free body diagram. Um, now, this thing has um, mg. I don't, I don't actually know what it is. It's actually not important. It has some kind of normal force here. It has oops, TV pulling down here, and it has TH pulling on it like this. Okay. Now, a net force equation, you just kind of have to do the uh, I, I, net force equation is not going to be super helpful because I don't want to introduce this, nor, this. So I want to do the torques. Um, the torque, the only thing causing rotation are TV and TH because the other forces are acting at the point of rotation and that doesn't cause any rotation. That, that, that torque is zero. So my net torque, it's also, it's also it's R times F. So each of these, if I draw my R vectors, look like this for this torque. So when I do TV, it's doing a torque and let's say this is the positive direction for torque and this is the negative direction and I say this is positive because I know that's the direction it's going to be rotating in so TV is a positive torque because it's a force that's going to be causing it to rotate clockwise right so that's R times TV and it's R times TV because um, uh, th these vectors already per the R vector is already perpendicular to TV right remember and then for TH I do this vector, r vector. It's perpendicular to th, but this is a, a negative torque because this this tension is wanting to pull it counterclockwise, so it's minus r th. And the net torque is equal to i alpha, kind of like the net force is ma. This is i alpha. Um, i <clears throat> is equal to three m r squared. And alpha is related to a because alpha is equal to a over r. Uh, time, oops, times A over R. That cancels there. So I have R times TV minus TH is equal to 3MRA. 
these R's cancel. So I have TV minus TH is equal to 3MA. Okay, now I've introduced a new unknown, TV, right? See, before I, or sorry, TH, before I had TV and A as my unknowns, now I have TH as my unknowns. So I need another equation. And this thing will thankfully uh, probably do it. So let's do the free body diagram. Um, the tricky thing here is that B and C are, are going to move according to each other. So I want to do two separate fr free body diagrams. I want the free body diagram on this guy. This is 3mg pulling down. This is um, th pulling this way. And then this guy, um, there must be some frictionless force. So let's see, if I slide it this to the right, um, this friction is going to be pulling this way, force of friction. OK, acting there. And. Um, I'm actually going to um, erase all that there and put the force here. Um, also, there's a normal force. Here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, to make it a little clear, I'm going to, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the 3M guy right here. And then draw all the forces. So this is TH, force of friction. I have 3MG. And then I have the force from this block pushing down on it, 4MG, right? And then I have a normal force. Because this thing this thing is pushing down on this block, right? Like I, I feel, if, if I were the 3M block, I would feel the weight pushing down on me, OK? Now the 4M block. Oops, let me um, draw more square. Has 4mg going down. And it has uh, the normal force, I'm going to say n2, and this is n1. And it has a frictional force this way. And the reason it has a frictional force to the right is because uh, it's equal and opposite to this frictional force. When two things, you know, it's equal and opposite um, force there and that's what's going to cause this guy to move okay so let's do the free body diagram for this one or uh we did the free body diagram let's do the the net force equation so i'm gonna have um yeah in the x direction i'm gonna have uh th the net force is equal to TH minus the force of friction. That force of friction is just simply equal to T TH minus. Um, you, you have to be a little bit careful. This this force of friction. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as force of friction. Because I want the normal force between these two blocks. I don't want the normal. I don't want the force that the table is pushing back on here. I want this to find this frictional force. It's due to the normal force of these two blocks pushing against each other. So this is just equal to 3m times a. And this a is the same as the a because everything is moving together in tandem, right? They're, they're going to have to move at the same acceleration. To find force of friction, um, I have to, um, force of friction is really equal to mu times the normal force of 2. OK? And from this so FN2 is how much force the, the 3M block is pushing back on here. And that's what dis dictates the friction. Um, actually, never mind. This thing is not causing it to... This, there's, this frictional force is not here. Because there's a frictional force... Let me think. determines TV. Oh, I can do this in terms of A. Sorry, I, I've gotten I've gotten them down to here. So let's do A real quick. TV. TV is equal to TH plus 3MA from this part of the equation. And I found that T8, uh, uh, TV is also equal to... Um, 
uh, 2mg minus 2ma from this equation. So what, oh, okay, so this is enough. I actually only needed that first one. Because <laughs> they, they said you could use A, which is I was confused. So um, for part B, TH is equal to TV from this equation is equal to, uh, um, TH is equal to TV minus 3MA. Well, TV is 2MG minus 2MA, so it's 2MG minus 2MA minus 3MA. That's equal to um, 2MG minus 5MA. Okay. So C and D is where I needed to do the free body diagrams. Because if they give you A, then determine these things. Okay. So I, I, I do have this all right. Th this setup is all right. Okay. So um, do, 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 acceleration of block C. Okay. So this free body diagram here, TH minus FF is equal to 3MA. So if if a is equal to two, then we know that th is given by two uh, mg minus ten m, because I just plug in a equals two there, and we'll assume we'll we'll use g equals ten. This is twenty m minus ten m. And that's equal to ten m. Okay. Uh, so I have ten m minus the force of friction is equal to three m times two. That's equal to uh, 6m. So the force of friction is equal to 4m, right? But like I said, that was equal from here. That's equal to mu times fn2. That's equal to mu times fn2 is equal to 4mg, which is equal to mu times 40m. So force of friction um, is equal to... Uh, uh, if it's equal to 4m, it's equal to mu times 40m. The m's cancel. So that means mu is equal to 4 over 40, which is equal to 0.1. Okay, and then the acceleration of block C, uh, we have to use this. We have to say, well, um, force of friction is equal to 4m times acceleration. The m's cancel. So A is equal to mu times 40 divided by 4, right? Because force of friction is just the net force in the x direction. That's equal to 10 mu. 10 times mu, 10 times 0.1 is equal to 1 meters per second squared. Okay. Okay. Hope you found that helpful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.